2023 Tennessee Senior Olympics swimming, Franklin, Tennessee. Uh, incredibly organized and run event. The swimming every year, the people that that run it from the Tennessee are just so friendly and helpful and uh, it's always comes off extremely well organized lots of good friends lots of opportunities to make new ones uh, good competition men and women all the strokes it's uh it's just a good time for everybody and it's something you train for you kind of sign up for it and then you kind of motivate you to train which enhances the quality of your life because you're in better physical condition so we recommend it for all great reward uh, awards given out each year and just a, a great time by all well hello everybody here we are again at the Tennessee State Senior Games and uh, with us we have Rosemary Sexton Thank you, Rosemary. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just delighted. We watched her swim today, and uh, she's just done an amazing, amazing job. And we're so um, proud that she's from our state, too. So we are loving this. Rosemary, um, get, tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey that you have uh, come through magnificently. Well, it's it's been a fun story. I started swimming. I, I decided not to die at an er earlier age and traded some bad habits for some better habits, healthier habits, and uh, did some running for a while, some distance running, and then came to swimming about 12 years ago. And I train with an age group team in Kingsport, Tennessee. So my competition are basically nine through 16 years old. So I'm used to being last. Um, and I really enjoy coming to the senior games and seeing the seniors and how inspirational they are. A lot of the women that I've come to know have come through so much. Uh, this year I had a bit of a challenge myself. I've just come through breast cancer surgery and everything went well and I was back in the pool within four weeks of the surgery. And these women here and listening to their story has been the inspiration for that. I'm still on the comeback trail, but everybody's so open and supportive that you just come here and do the best you can. You leave it all in the pool, don't take it home with you. Uh, doesn't do you any good in the locker room. So I uh, finished one day of competition and had some pretty good success. We'll come again tomorrow and try to do it again. Let me ask you this. Were you always physically fit? I mean, has your life been one of hitting it all the time? Not even close. In the pool? Not even close. Not close. Tell us uh, about that. Up until the age of 30, I flung to gym. I was an honor student who got a D in phys ed. Um, at the age of 31, I put down the cigarettes and decided to uh, embrace some healthier habits. I uh, took up jogging, horrible at it, but I loved it. I lived in Houston, Texas. Um, and that just naturally followed that if, if running wasn't gonna be miserable, I was gonna have to eat better and take better care of myself. And it's kind of led me down the road to where I am now. I'm, I'm um, competing this year as a 73 year old and am having a ball. I feel good. Uh, I am able to keep, not keep up with the kids in the pool, but at least in attitude, I can keep up with the kids in the pool. Uh, I compete as an age grouper, 15 and over. So I am used to being dead last. That's why it's fun to come to the senior games. Every once in a while, I'm not last, uh, as you can see. Um, but yes, I, I did not come through a life of fitness. It wasn't ever anything that was even on my radar. And it's been so much fun. It has really given me focus and given me goals to, to try to achieve and stay with it as I go through life. And I plan to be here when I'm 93, so. That's awesome. Good Lord willing. Awesome. Well, and tell us, what part does that play in your life, in your, your drive to be physically fit, to stay healthy? Is there a relationship? You've, you've mentioned several times with the Lord. Yeah. And tell us about that. Well, it kind of it kind of all blends together and it all bleeds over. Um, taking, you know, it's all it all comes from somewhere. You know, I didn't I didn't wake up wonderful. Um, 
good Lord gives us what he gives us. And I think it's our responsibility and part of our general lifetime stewardship to take care of what you've got and, and not just waste it. So it helps me stay focused in my life. It helps me in my work. I am still employed and that keeps me kind of focused at work to where I wanna, I wanna do the best I can with, with that endeavor. And I don't know when I'll retire. I guess when they throw me out. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it does, it, it all works together for the good. And I didn't make that one up, that's not an original. <laughs> what is your work? Oh, I work for the engineering contractor for Eastman Chemical in Kingsport, Tennessee. And I am a computer-aided drafting and designer. So I draw really boring engineering pictures on a computer. I love it. Uh, it's, like, it's like working out puzzles all day long. And I keep my engineers out of trouble and they appreciate it. I've been alive longer than like all of them put together. So they give me a little bit of something for my experience. Well, it looks like the Lord has not only given you a great, a great um, physical drive to, to be the best that you can in your body and in and taking care of the house, mm -hmm. taking care mm -hmm. of the temple. Mm -hmm. yes, but it's I wonderful think. to hear you say that, that that continues, your relationship with the Lord continues to push you. It really does, and, and again, it just, I think the Lord just leads you where He wants you to go. He may change my mind for me tomorrow, I have no idea, but I think, I think the key is to just be open to it That's and right. just go where you're led. Right. It makes it easy. If you, People say the Lord is my co-pilot, but there's no co-pilot going on. I'm not driving this train. So. <laughs> He's the pilot. <laughs> yes, you better believe it. Well, it's wonderful that, that you've shared with us today. Well, and, I appreciate you, know, you taking we've the time. kept up with you. John and I have kept up with you, and we're the most impressed with not just your, just your physical, uh, you know, you're, you're just good at what you do. Your attitude and just the way you... We watch you in this huge, beautiful aquatic center, and everybody knows you, and you bring joy wherever you go. Well, thank you. I've got a big personality. I think more <laughs> guts than brains probably describes me better than anything, but I do. I, I like to come and push. I like to achieve, and the only person I ever compete with in this pool is just the girl in my lane. So. And what would you tell the person sitting out there on a couch watching TV watching maybe even sporting events and saying, wow, that's really great. So nice they could do it. What would you say to them to motivate them to get up and get out there and start? You know, I, I hear that all the time from the parents of the kids that I compete with. They always say, oh, Rosemary, you're such an inspiration. And I say, I thank you. What have I inspired you to do? You know, it's, it's at some point in time, you have got to get up and take the first step. I understand people's stories are all different. Some yes. people have, have challenges and limitations that they can't do a thing about. But there is something you can bring to the party. There is something you can do to make yourself better. You need to go ahead and, and make it a priority to find your joy, to find the thing that you do that actually lifts you up and brings you joy. And I think once you find that joy, there's just nothing, nothing that can stop you. That's right. That's right. Oh. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for taking the time and sharing. I know it's been a long day. Many it has events, been. Many events for everybody, but you took this time to share with those watching. Hopefully, we'll see some of you here one of these days. We hey, would love that. I, I've got another 20 years on me, so come on back. <laughs> thank you. We want to thank you for watching RedefiningAging.us. I'm John Distrovic, your host. And our goal for the series is pretty simple. We just want to enhance the quality of people's lives. So if you know of an event that you think would uh, be one for good, good for us to cover, please fill out the form on our website and not only the event, and what it is, where it is, when it is, and uh, if there's a person you know that you think would be uh, a good person for me, us to do a testimony on in some event, please let us know. And if you want a fuller description of my testimony, you can either go to johndistradict.com 
and look under ministry or you can go here at redefiningaging.us. We appreciate your viewership. God bless and hope to see you on more shows. Thank you.